You know when you take off your front loader, it's the middle of the summertime, it's hot, and they come back to put your loader back on, and they find out one of their, your hydraulic lines is stuck. You can't get it back in. You either take a, a hammer and you smack it, you take a pair of channel locks and you squeeze it, but all that does is make a mess. You have to go back, you have to wipe everything off. I mean, it's completely messy. You get hydraulic fluid on yourself. So I've came up with an idea how to make a piece that actually will slide on it. It fits right on top of it. You can take your screw, your bolt, you snug it down, you release your pressure, and you snap it right back on. Easy to do. All your fluid is inside. It's no longer spraying all over you. You can make this at home. Very easy. Good morning again. From Papa's Barn, where I like to make things. I like to show you how to make things. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a way to release hydraulic pressure on your front loader. In the summertime when you take it off and it sits out in the sun after a couple hours and you come back from mowing or do whatever you want to do and you want to reattach your front loader and you find out the, the cylinder the plunger is stuck you can't put it back in on here where you want to you can either take a hammer you can smack the end of it you can take a channel lock and you can squeeze it but all that doesn't make a mess hydraulic fluid goes everywhere it goes over yourself so i came up with a little idea out of pvc parts you can buy it at your local hardware. It consists of a plug, a coupler for a one inch pipe, a second plug. They fit together snugly. So what I want to do, I'm going to lay it out where I can actually take the first piece. I'm going to notch it to fit my uh, coupling. Be right back and I'll set it up. The first thing we're going to see in making this is a plug. The fitting won't fit in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a line on here that I can actually see what I need to take off. Now you might be able to take a drill. You might be able to take a, a grinder. You might be able to take any kind of tool you want to clean that up but I've got a little bit bigger Dremel tool I'm actually going to go in there and I'm going to clean that up and make it fit She'll pop and she'll crack and she'll make all kinds of noises for you. Don't worry about it. Just take your time and be careful. Not quite there. Starting. 
Let's do a little bit more. There we go. Nice and loose. take a deburring tool. I like to burr the edge a little bit. Alright, I'm going to set it in the vise sideways. I'm just going to take a magic marker. I'm going to draw me lines, starting points. And I know I'm going to have to go farther down. With it, Make sure I'm snug in my vise. I'm going to take the old Dremel. I'm going to take the Dremel I used in my first project. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And it's going to take my time. Now you can't take probably a, a saw. I cut this out. It's just made by the easy. Let me turn you off and I'll clean this up. Now the object of this is for this to fit through there. As you can see, I don't have enough room. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it up to make it fit. I'm going to go ahead and keep you from being bored. I'll go ahead and stop the video and I'll pick you up and then I got it done. Well, the PVC pipe with glue and cement is uh, setting up. Let's go ahead and go to the next piece, which is going to be the top. We're going to find the center of this piece and we're going to drill a 5 16th hole, and we're going to tap it 3 8 16 for a bolt. I just want to get close to center. See the intersection there? That should be the center. And I'm going to go ahead and prick punch it. Then I will set up my uh, drill press and I'll show you how I drill it. Now when drilling plastic or PVC pipe, anything that's plastic with a standard drill bit, the bit's going to want to grab. So take your time. Don't rush it. Do it real slow and you won't have a problem. It even grabs on the end there for me. Now what I like to do is I want to keep that thread nice and straight going into that piece. So I'll put my 3 16 tap in here and I'll pull the drill chuck down and I will slowly start turning if you can see it. I'll slowly start turning the tap until she starts. Then I'll stop, loosen up my chuck, take my tap and my piece out. And I'm going to go over and tap it by hand. I'll, I'll turn it off and be right back. Okay, now I've got a T-handle. I'm going to put my tap in there. I'm going to line up the jaws. And I'm going to tap it the rest of the way by hand.
You see the tap starting to come through? BBC, you don't need any oil. It'll lubricate itself. Let's check it. See if it works. There you go. It's nice and straight. All right, I'm going to turn you off and we're going to go back and see if the glue is set on the other piece. Okay, the PVC glue is stuck to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to project this line straight down off this piece under my coupler and I'm going to square it off. Again, I'm going to use my Dremel. Notice my bit started to come out a little bit. I'm going to take and tighten my, my bit back. I don't want it to come all the way out. And yes, I'm, I've lost my wrench. So I'm using a pair of pliers. Again, you could probably use a hand saw, a coping saw. A file to clean the edges up. Right now I just want to show you the basics of it. Clean up your edges. Let's see if she fits now. All right, I got a little bit more to go. There you go. It fits in there. So now I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take the burrs off of it, clean it up, and we're going to glue the cap on. Alright, I glued it together. I'm waiting on it to dry. I got my bolt into it. it. Looks very similar to the other one. I didn't take my time cleaning up all the edges like I did here. I took a file and cleaned it up here. But you could do that. I just want to demonstrate this. It's ready for painting. Now, as inexpensive as this is to make, do yourself a favor, do your buddy a favor. When you make this, make two of them. Make one for yourself and make one for them. And enjoy working with your hands. And have a nice day from Papa's Barn Time. <laughs>